This is Pat Brown, and we continue to talk about living passionately. And I tell you, as I was thinking about what I'm going to talk about next, I came across with the subject of how your passion changes over time. Really um, resonated with me. And as I thought about how your passion really does change as you grow and you learn and acquire your knowledge and wisdom. And I remember being in my early 20s and relocating here to New York and going to college. And I tell you what, it was just so, so exciting at the time. And I was just passionate about getting through school. And I tell you, there were times when it didn't seem like I would, would make it, but I kept persevering and pushing my way. And I was really fortunate to meet some good people who I am still friends with up to this day, some of them. And back then it was really about going through school. And I remembered we would schedule our classes from Monday to Thursday. And uh, Thursday evenings, it would just be the time to start partying. And then I remembered how things changed when I, I got married and um, had my daughter and then soon after became a single parent. And I tell you what, there was no preparation for that. But then my passion changed to being the best mom that I possibly could be for my daughter. Uh, my goals kind of went on the sideline because I was just so scared at times about raising her and setting the right example and sometimes even trying to be this perfect mom. And I look back today and I've had conversations with my daughter and she said um, one time she thought that I was just perfect and I did my expectations of her. And I thought, wow, like, I am really so sorry because yeah, mom is far from perfect. And I, I do apologize for coming across that way. And even my expectations of her, I didn't realize that I was really so demanding in my process of trying to be this great mom and the pressures that I, I, I placed on her, and especially even as a young adult. And you know, sometimes you look back and you think about how sometimes something that you're passionate about, you try to pass it on to your children or to other people, and it really is not your responsibility to do that. Your children will grow into who they want to be and who they're supposed to be in this world. Just like I had to figure my way out as I maneuver through school in New York, as I moved here as a, as a young adult and had to learn. And fortunately, I was blessed with some really great friends who were doing the same things. And um, some from Barbados that I'm still friends with up to this day that helped guided me along the way. You have to realize that what you're passionate about is for you. If you wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer or whatever the case may be, it's not fair to push that on your children. And I must say that I was guilty of that. And later, as my daughter grew and mature, we've had some really great conversations around that. And um, when she explained the pressure that I placed on her at times, I really had to apologize because it's not my place. And sometimes because we want the best for our kids, we try to force those things on them. I tell you, as I look around at my daughter and some young adults of my friends who are now maturing and they're, they're adults, and even my nieces and my, my nephews and children of friends that call me auntie, which is such a blessing, uh, and young cousins, and I see that they're have grown into them themselves and who they're supposed to be and as they try to maneuver in this world to make their place and I'm, I'm just in awe of them and how 
the world changes and how time changes and how we change. Like now my passion is about building my business. My daughter is on her own building her business independently. And as I, I try in my place to give back and encourage others to just live your life because time is short, we cannot go back. You can't touch the same water twice, right? And it's the same thing with life. We cannot turn the clock back. So I'm just saying to you that whatever it is that you're passionate about, go after your passion. What is in here deep inside that you want to do or fulfilling your purpose? Because I always tell people, when I leave this earth, I want to leave on an empty tank. I want to give back everything that I've been blessed with. And hopefully what I'm sharing today blesses the life of someone. Thank you for listening and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.